So Paul Garner is, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Paul Garner is knocking around outside Cambridge Railway Station, dressed up as a nerd, covered in TCP. He's on the line now. Paul. Hold up. Yeah, Stop. hello, Chris. You are wearing uh, trainers? I'm wearing trainers, I'm wearing an anorak, and I'm wearing uh, Buddy Holly glasses. And you stink of uh, TCP? I've rubbed it all over my body. Excellent, and you've got a good first aid bag there full of rubbish? Um, yeah. How far are you from the taxis? Ten yards. Okay, approach the, t approach the taxi. Okay, I'm Remember, doing... I'm your dad. I'm doing it now. This is the first taxi journey you've ever been on. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm looking at the taxi, I'm about two yards in front of it. Make a nice, friendly face to him. Yeah, okay. I'm doing it. And get in the cab, say you want to go somewhere in Cambridge. Okay, here we go. I'm getting in it now. Do you mind if I get in the front, please? Oh, shit. He's letting me in the front. He's having to move stuff off the seat. Cool. Thank him very much. Thanks very much for that. I prefer, I prefer the front. You do it in London, so okay? Yes. Do a lot of crazy laughing and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time I've been in a taxi on my own without my dad. If he ever asks you what the yeah. hell you're doing on the phone, you yeah. just explain to him that uh, I'm your dad. We're, we're just <laughs> leaving the station. And say, tell him to stop now, tell him to stop. Do you mind stopping just for a second? You just got to check the indicators. Do you mind just checking the indicators for me? They're not on. Can you just check them for me, because I'm nervous. Just do the left-hand one again. Yeah, they're, they're both working fine. No, 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 you've got to get out of the car. Do you mind if I just get out of the car and check them for me? Well, you are. What a cab will you do, know, mate? No, I do want a cab, but I just want to check the indicators. <laughs> well, get out and have a look at them. are still good. And tell him to shout left and right. OK, I'm just going to get out now and look. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. <laughs> Can you do the left, please? When he does the left, tell him that's on the right. That's on the right, mate. You want to do the left hand first. That's on the left. Pardon? That's on the left. Is that, it's on. Yes, that indicator's on. Is it? No, it's the right. No, that's, that's the right indicator. You can't even see from where you are. What's that? You can't see. You've got to go in the front to see if they're on. I've got to go in the front. I don't like the front of the car. He's totally pissed off. <laughs> OK, and as you get back into the car... Ask him when he last had new tyres. That's brilliant. When did you last have new tyres, mate? None of your business, is it? Pardon? None of your business. Wind down your window and adjust your wing mirror so you can see what's behind you. OK. I don't like these. How do I wind the window down, mate? Can he do it for me? Oh. Oh. He's done, he's done a window for me. OK, now adjust the wing mirror so you can see. Ask I've him. got to just adjust the wind mirror, is that all right? Touching it right there, you won't. Can I adjust the wind mirror? No. Why not? Because that's adjusted for me. Can I see? I've got what I need to see behind me. <laughs> you don't, mate. I'm driving it. I need to, but I'm the one that needs to see. I know you're driving, well, but... I'm driving it and they're staying as they are. Ask him if he's ever had an accident. Have you ever had, had an accident? Have you ever had an accident in this car? Why? Because I'm a little bit worried. Uh, if you're worried, get out. You're allowed to be worried because it's about your body. Well, it's my body. I'm a little bit worried. Has he had an accident? <laughs> Have you, you not had an accident then? Yeah? He's not saying nothing to me now. Tell him that your father's worried about you and that this yes. is your first taxi journey and you just want to make sure that you're yeah, not going to get damaged. I know, he's nice. It's just that my dad's worried on, my, on the phone about me because it's my first taxi journey on my own. Do you understand? Well, you tell me where you want to go and that's it. That's the end of it. I don't need to make conversation. He doesn't need to make conversation, he said, because that's the end of it. All right, well, tell him to stop the car again. Do you mind just stopping for a second? I'm sorry, sorry to be awkward. Do you mind just stopping here? Uh, he, he, he's, he's been very kind. He's pulled over for Okay, me. you just want to check and see if there are any signs of accidents on the car. Do you mind if I just check the car, see if there's any accidents? Bollocks. He said bollocks, and he's now pulled off really quickly. <laughs> Ask him if he's done anything of which he's ashamed as a driver. He's not done anything in the taxi that's ashamed, you're ashamed of. Have you, Mr. Driver? Hello? Uh, he's... Keep quiet until you get where you want to go, and that's it. Keep quiet? You're just nervous, that's oh, all. I'm sorry, I'm just... I don't have to listen to all this. I don't want this verbal earache, OK? Verbal oh. earache? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm... OK, start tapping the dashboard. I'm... He's taking me to the roundabout. And when you get to the roundabout, Paul, get, it, get him to go around it again, because he didn't like the way he went on to it. 
Go around it again. I'm worried about the way you went on. I didn't like the I way know, you went. I know. He's going too a little bit fast. A bit fast? A bit fast. Yeah, turn to slow down a bit. You can just slow down a little bit, mate, for me. You wouldn't just go around it once more. No. Pardon? No. I didn't like the way you went on to it. It's the way he went on to it that's a little bit worried me. <laughs> Is that all right to go around once more? Well, this is where you went to go in your ear now. He's stopping it. Yeah. He's not having it. But you went onto it in a horrible oh, way. No, no, no. I'm sorry about that, but I'm just a little bit worried. That's all. Three pounds sixty. Three, Three pounds. Say you're not paying because it wasn't. He didn't go under the roundabout again. Come on, just going around the roundabout. No, come on, pay me up. I'll get the bloody police. I've had enough. Police. <laughs> That's it. Why the police? Because I want you out of my car, okay? But there's oh, only a. Neil, Neil. It's only. Right. He's getting angry. He's, he's pulling me out of the car. I'm not joking. OK, pay him. He's going out now. Pay him. He's pulling me out. Pay him. OK, mate. Careful of me. I'm sorry about that. I'll, pay, I'll pay you up proper. I tell you what, give him the phone. Do you want to just have one of my dad for me? I want me money. Come, I'll have some meat and goose back on. Tell him he's a horrid, horrid man. He's been very horrid to me. Yeah, that's five. Is that it? That's it. Is T that the lot? That's all you get. Tell him I hope he crashes. Um, uh, well, I... I I hope you crash. Sorry? You'll never get in again. And you never get out of your car when you crash, you bastard. <laughs> bastard. You. I hope you never get out of the wreckage. I hope you never get out of the wreckage, you old bastard. <laughs> I'm it. Oh, my God. <laughs> no more. No more. I'm going. I'm just heading out of Cambridge. I don't care where the hell I am. <laughs> God. Oh my God! Keep it a... <laughs> Listen to that adrenaline. He's a... threatened me with the police. <laughs> That's twice now. Paul, you've turned into a into a woman. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, have you, has, has anybody been following you to, to, to? Yeah, but I can't find him. <laughs> Hide in a bush. Uh, it's a private nursing home, but I'm going in there anyway. <laughs> oh. That was the worst day of my life. <laughs> hey, Paul. Yeah. It was great. Thanks, mate. <laughs> See ya. See you later.